Welcome back guys to another YouTube tutorial. It's your boy Sam and today I'll be walking you through this project right here. This is a real estate website that we created with HTML, CSS and JavaScript and a little bit of jQuery. And yeah, I'll be walking you through everything to just show you the whole idea, how we started it, the HTML parts, the different sections like this right here, the agent section, the about us, our about our company section, also the services section and also the testimonials, the contact me, how we made the forms and all that, the address, how we move this to the right. So yeah, I'll be walking you through everything. Also the footer for sure. And also adding the icons with font awesome and all that good stuff. We also have this nice navigation and hopefully you understood that also this right here is fixed. So it's always going to be here. We're always going to have this navigation right here. So that's all we're going to be doing in this video. I'll explain it. I will start with HTML, then CSS, and then JavaScript. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like the vid, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. I know what. Let's get started. So yeah, guys, what you can see right here is we have some script tags. We have our CDNJS for our jQuery. We have our kit, Font Awesome kit, and yeah, that's just basically it connected our JavaScript right here, also connected our CSS, and that's how we're going to start this project with. Yeah, so the first cool snippet we paste, when I save it, you can see right here, it's just the basic logo with the navigation, and then we have our header, and also the subheader. So that's all is in this hero, this header hero container. You can see right here, nothing too much, just basic things with span tags. And of course, there's an allies for the navigation. Now, the next part is a section. And for the section, we have here just like how it works. Basic like to, sh to show our products and what we do. All right here, I'm just going to change this to our services save it yeah so this is basically the services that this real estate perform which is find property buy property and also investments and all that so that's what they do and after that So right here we have the price of the property right here with the information like bedroom, square feet, and also the location. And we have that for all this right here. The next part we have the agents. So after we show some properties, we also introduce the people to the different agents we have in our agency. So you can see all the agents right here their names and their position. Most of them are real estate agents, but we could also switch it up and give them different roles. But yeah, that's up for you to actually modify the code depending on what you want it to be. And this is just plain HTML. That's why you see it's very, very basic, nothing, no resizing, nothing like that. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Now after the agents, we have this um, basic like, oh, talking more about the real estate agency, why they're the best, a little bit of promotion for the real estate agency. You can see it's just basic sections and divs and image, H1, P tags and all that. So, and UL and LI, so, and a button of course. And now this part is mainly explaining the services a little bit more in detail. The different services, investment, list property, property locator, stated app, and all that. So this is just mainly more intro. And you can see here we have learned more. So you have a button for each of them. And we have our font awesome icons right here. And now we have the testimonials because for websites like this, you need testimonials. So yeah, we have the testimonials of the different customers. 
different people who have actually worked with this real estate agency their name and a little bit you can see it's Lauren Ibsen jargons or just default text but that's all to you to actually switch it up and add real testimonials or fake testimonials depending on what you want but yeah that's the whole purpose of this part now we have our contact us so yeah this is just a basic form you can see it here we have the labels we have the input field there's the form tag right here and it's inside a div so that's the basic thing we have the h2 tag right here so this is a basic form name address you can also write stuff and we have the phone numbers and also email address so that's what this part is because for sure you need this in a real estate agency so yeah guys this is the footer and for the footer you can see right here that we just have basic h5 tag for the about victoria estate then we have a li tag with basically a footer navigation and after that we have this subscribe to our newsletter which is just an input with a button so you can get the email address of potential clients or people who love looking at deals and after that you can see the small tag we just have a copyright and yeah you can see the copyright code right here and then 2021 all rights reserved and that's it so this right here is all for the html this is all we did for the html nothing too complicated it's a lot of code but it's really basic code a lot of repetition so yeah it's a lot of you if you did one part you would just have to copy the rest and yeah that's the whole point and now let's get to the CSS. Let's make this pretty. Yeah, so with the CSS, you can see right here, if I should check it on GitHub, we have each section. This is the property styling, just a lot of margins and paddings. Set the width. And yeah, basically padding right, padding left. We also did some flex wrap for the agents. So you see how this is looking, it's looking really nice and orderly. The width padding right, and then for after the agents, we have this part right here. Why we are the best, or we are the best. And yeah, this is just basic setting the width, giving it some margin. Now for the services, you can see how it's all aligned. This is also query media. That's why it's looking nice in this form. If we enlarge it, you can see this how it looks. So it looks really nice like that too. And after that for the testimonials. For the testimonials, you can see that we just set some max width, give it some margin give it some border radius too so it's this circle kind of thing so basically you give it a border radius of half of its width so in this case its width is 60 so we give it a border radius of 50 pixels we could also give it a border radius of 50 percent that would also work but yeah that's the whole point if you want to get this kind of circle image Also add some, we also added some text decoration on. Now for the contact us, which is the form, we set the text, text align for the form, the width, font family. Yeah, just basic stuff. Set the display of block two for the address which is this right here. That's why you see everything is in a block form. Set the colors to green for the number and also the email address. And also the hover effect is text decoration on the line. So when you hover on it, the text get, gets this on the line that you're seeing right here. Now for the footer, 
the footer for sure has this background color, this grayish background color, and a padding bottom, border bottom, margin top. Basically, just margin and setting up the width to position of relative for this subscribe. And also, yeah, added some color to color white when you write on it. Yep, and you can see the followers we have, they're all ally, so yeah, that's why we're talking the footer subscribe ULLIA because the anchor tags set the decoration to none, give it this color. But they also have hover effects of white, so when we hover on it, you can see it switches to white. And the small tag, which is this right here, display block, text center, that's why it's in the center. And now these are the media queries. So the media query is just to set it so for mo mobile views it actually works and it's responsive because there's no point of having a website right now which is not responsive. So we just set some display block for the navigation, margin top, and we set for this media query of the maximum width of the screen would be 767. Large paragraph, the font size, that's really important. And that's why we're using RAM because it makes it relative which is really nice and also a display of none yeah and also for the footer you can see right here we're targeting the first child using the selector right here and also a screen size of 500 because depending on your phone you want to target all the screen sizes so five maximum width of 500 maximum width of 700 and even a maximum width of 991 basically we could even do 108 108 oh. so that's basically what you do there and hopefully you guys are understanding if you have any questions leave it down in the comments below and also a maximum screen for 400 so yeah that's basically it for the css and this is how everything is looking but it's not looking the way especially this part here this image just shouldn't be this big but we're going to solve all that in the javascript so now let's get to the JavaScript section. Now, now that we've pasted the JavaScript, I'm sure you can see the difference now. These images are not that large anymore. And now we have this next and previous where when we click on it, you see we get different houses. So we are, it's like a carousel. So that's what we did right here with the scroll top. And you can see even for testimonials, we have the same thing. We have it right here, so you click on it and you get the different testimonials. So that's what we did in the JavaScript to create this whole Coracel feel, which is really nice. And I feel it makes this website just way more better. And yeah, for sure we use jQuery for this too, but this is also JavaScript, so yeah. That's basically what we did for the JavaScript to just switch it up a little bit and make this website look really nice. I really like that. And you can also see when the screen size is small, we get our hamburger menu with, with the different navigation and you can exit it like that. That's why we had that exit button because that's also a font awesome icon. So yeah, that's basically it. And Hopefully you enjoyed this project. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel guys if you're new. Many, many more tutorials coming your way. And yeah, I'll leave a link to my GitHub so you can get the full code of this tutorial right here. And you know what, I'm gonna wrap this up and I'll see you all in the next YouTube video.